But now we're going straight into a category that's all about hard-hitting and thought-provoking material. And of course, that comes together in a brilliant documentary. To present the award tonight for the best documentary, please welcome the newest presenter on 53 Extra. His name is Ozzy Agu. And Esther Ugbodaga. Now, she's the anchor CNBC on CNBC Africa. Africa. <laughs> Good evening, Africa. Hello, hello, Africa. All right, I speak for the men here when I say not all men are liars, okay? Okay? Can I get a hoo-hoo for the men? That's what I'm talking about. Ozzy. All right. Ozzy, it's, inter it's today's International Women's Day. You were meant to ask me, you were meant to congratulate me and ask me if I would like to come back as a woman in, my, in, in another life. Yes, another woman telling me what I'm not doing right, yes. <laughs> well, today is International Women's Day. Love to my mother, my sister, my African women. If you could come back again, would you come back as a woman or a man? Absolutely, as a woman. Ah. Correct. Well, for our documentary filmmakers, they have to tell fearless stories that may not be popular at the time, but to honor them, the nominees for best documentary are... Dr. Gilbert Chigbo for The Deadwood. Two problems arise. Tradition is too expensive. Peter Murimi for Guardians of the Wild. This year alone, 70 elephants and one rhino have been killed. David Campbell for Shamba Shape Up. Tumanka goes to school. Sonia Mayingi. Tumanka is going to school. Peter Murimi for Matatu, My Life, My Art. It's a culture, man. It has always been there. It will always be there. Ladies first. The best documentary, the winner is Dr. Gilbert Chigbo, The Deadwood. Dr. Gilbert Chigbo for The Deadwood. 